5k pom pom, just play, a crossover video by Dangerously Incompetent. Emily's have had a couple of buffs in the last year, and recently their price came down because they were craftable again in the Raven's Return event. I got some, so let's try them out. This build has got three Emily's on the Growl cabin, we've got the one point generator, because the Emily's need four energy and the Growl only provides eleven. Uh, we've got the hot red, no any energy engine for a bit more acceleration and shift wheels and a train plow on the front and that's it so where's the enemy gone to oh here they all are nope didn't want to go up there go back down no don't go back don't go back not even for shots on the rear of this guy and you flip and escape or clip the bridge with the shift blades and roll over damn you shift blades don't really need the shift blades but like the shivs because they've got good durability for a low power score and a small size but blades get in the way and now I'm a bit vulnerable. The build comes out at about 5k power score which is good because the Emilys have decent burst damage straight out of the box you don't need to add anything they've got the six round clip pom 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 and that's what seven nearly 700 odd damage from three of them so that's pretty good. But the downside is you can't increase that burst damage by adding uh, a favourite cabin or radiators like the seal, like you can with the cooldown shotguns like the sledgehammer. So above 5k power score, the, the, sledge, the sledgehammer builds and other shotgun builds, their burst damage goes up because you're adding the, the getting the synergy from the other parts. But with the Emily, you can't do that. So you go up the power score, go up to 6, go up to 7, you meet loads of those cooldown shotguns and they do more burst damage, which makes them much more effective than the Emilies. On the plus side for the Emilies, there's no overheating to worry about and you have unlimited ammo and those grenades fly an awful long way. They'll fly the length of the map, no problems. A lot further than the rarer grenade launchers like the Wretcher. And so there's no harm in indulging in a bit of speculative artillery at the beginning of the match. I never hit anything, but, you know, I live in hope. So now, where's the enemy got to? Now, the thing with this build is you've got a full clip, you've got a burst damage, so you want to identify a victim, charge in, unload your clip, do a pile of damage, and then get away again. So you can run off and reload in safety without know, getting battered in return. So where's the next set of victims? Round the corner? Oh, I should have wasted those shots just shooting them the ground and uh, done not a lot at all. Not got away with it. There's a risk running out in front of three of them. But yeah, got away with it. Not the best play. And now it seems I'm all alone with four of them. It really is time to run. <laughs> run like the blazes. <laughs> you see the back end of my vehicle. And they're still coming after me. So take a train plow in their face and lose your wheels. <laughs> Let's have a go at this guy in passing. It's all, oh, it's those hated caucuses. Press W and click once on the enemy builds. And he's gone. Good. Right. There's Daniel, it's time to reload again, run off. But on the downside for the Emily's, the projectile is slow, it really is quite slow. The shot will arc a lot, so you've got to adjust for that on the distance, and it, you've got to lead the enemy but quite a while, you've got to shoot where they're going to be because it takes so long to get there. I mean, look at this guy. I'm, uh, neither of us are dodging much, and yet I'm really struggling to hit him. Hitting people with the Himalayas is quite hard, and they've got a, quite a bit of dispersion on them as well. And it's only when he slows down and stops that I manage to get the hits in and do the damage. And good night from him. And it's a victory for us. Hurrah! Another downside for the Emilies is they've got low durability and they're big. They're not huge like the wretches, but they're bigger than sledgehammers and maces and thunderbolts. They fit in the same 2x2 square, but they stick up by at least another half a square, 
which makes them easy to strip off and this build doesn't do an awful lot to protect them. I've got bumpers around the front ones and the cabin in front of the back one but they still poke out a lot and they're still an easy target if you know what you're doing. So in this battle keep an eye out for was it Tesseract and Kier because they're using spectres and they're sniping. See this machine gun fire coming in there that was hitting around my Emily's? Yeah, that's them. They're sitting at the back sniping and just stripping off weapons. This is exactly what you should do with the spectres. And they've already got rid of one of my Emily's and my engine. engine's on fire. Is that an engine or my cabin on fire? But here, yeah, you can see them. They've just come out since they're running out of enemies. And now, look at that. You can see the machine gun fire going straight at my weapons and nothing else. And now I've got no weapons and now I'm on fire. What am I going to do now? I'm useless. Or well, mostly useless. I'll go help the bots capture. Hope my ally holds them off for long enough. Oh, he's, he's done. <laughs> the last player's gone. Oh, it's a, it's a race against time now and... Oh no, 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 no. One of the bots has left the circle. Oh, we could have captured. If I, why, why is it sat in the circle? All battle, and now it decides to leave just as it really be useful to, for it to be in there. Oh, annoyance. So, this isn't going to end well. Here they come, and he's shooting at the weapons on the bot. I shall run away, maybe survive. No, three and a half minutes. They'll just be able to capture again. So, let's try and annoy him. Oh, didn't last long. There you get a good look at his build, which is basically two spectres and a hot rod cabin. Very effective for the power school, if you stay at the back and snipe, stripping the weapons of your enemies like me. If we look at the scores, yeah, they got the higher scores in the battle. How do I rate this build? Well, it's okay. It's fast, it's fun, but it's not the most effective build out there at 5k. And the Emily's they'd be more effective at a slightly lower power score, they're certainly less effective at a higher power score. And if you want to try the Emily's and this build out, you can find it in the exhibition on the PC, 5k pom pom. That's it for this video, see you next time.